Welcome to Stats Amazing for another week. Andrew Marmont and Andrew Ferguson with you to talk about Round 24 NRL's stats, milestones and quirks that you need to know. Uh, Andrew, first of all, the Eels and the Titans, the Parramatta team thrashing the Gold Coast side. What did you make of the game? Yeah, the, uh, the Titans are just playing like a disgruntled employee at the moment. They're rocking up, they're collecting the pay packet and they're just going home. It wasn't pretty and the Eels really uh, pulling their top eight uh, you know, aspirations there. Another good win for them. Yeah, okay. And these are the games you've got to put away to. You, you can't go dropping games to the low sides. Yeah, absolutely. And we uh, we move on to the uh, the next match. So Brisbane and St. George. And some interesting stats, some good milestones. Anthony Milford as well. He reaches one. Yeah, look, he's just 10 points shy of bringing up 200 points for the Broncos. He actually needs 18 points as well to bring up 300 for his career. Which is a yeah, that's a pretty good stat for him. You know, uh, moving on through as well with Brisbane, you know, winning winning some games against St George as well. Pretty good record. Yeah, they've been dominating the Dragons for quite a while. They've won thirteen of their last fifteen games against the Dragons, and it's been it, the Dragons haven't won at Suncorp since two thousand and nine. That's a long time, and you'd think that the Brisbane, you know, Brisbane will continue that streak there. South and Warriors, two teams, well, they're sort of out of the eight, but still a lot to play for. Um, what do you have for us for this game? Yeah. Jacob Lilliman's in line to bring up his 250th NRL game, which is possibly the biggest milestone there. Uh, Alex Johnson scored 19 tries in his last 20 NRL games, while George Burgess is undefeated against the Warriors. Yeah, Johnson having a, another great season. I mean, do you think that's down to anything in particular, or do you think that will also be rewarded with, say, representative honours later in the year? Well, he, he wouldn't be a bad picking rep honours, given that he is versatile in the back line. Um, but um, I think he's just become a bit of a go-to man now with Greg Inglis gone, so I think that's why he's still picking up plenty of throws there. Definitely still have to cross the line, don't you? Uh, and also, uh, Ryan Hoffman, yeah, um, 16 of the 19 games he's played against South, uh, so a pretty good streak for him. Now we also move on to Newcastle versus the Storm. So, well, 16th plays the first team. Uh, what did you make of this game? As far as interesting too, both sides are probably in the best form in the competition as well, so that'll make it interesting too. It's, um, Sean Kenny Dale is just two points away from bringing up 500 career points, while Cooper Cronk has won 17 of his 23 games against the, the Knights. Oh, that's, a, that's a big stat, I guess. Also, it sort of confirms you know, how Newcastle taken a while to rebuild. Yeah. Uh, now Newcastle, uh, sorry, the, uh, the the Cowboys taking on the Sharks. So a few different milestones here, starting with Scott Bolton bringing up a significant one. Yeah, Scott Bolton's going to play his 200th game this week. And uh, we also have, uh, you know, Soai Siafeki as well and uh, and Ricky Latui. Yeah, Fecky, he's, he's just one try shy of, of 50 for his career and 200 career points, while Latelli and Maloney both have Games milestones. Well, Telly will play his hundredth game, and James Maloney will play his two hundredth career game. So that it's sort of, to me, it just strikes me going through these stats that yeah, a lot of players seem to be crossing the two hundred mark, and even say three hundred this year with more regularity. You know, you know, it wasn't so long ago we were always thinking, well, they get to eighty games, then that's that's a fairly significant, you know, uh, amount of games. But yeah, two hundred. That's that's a huge achievement, really, nowadays. It certainly is, and as I said, um, the the three hundred game milestone too is um, something that's been more and more frequent. Which up until up until the year two thousand, only one player had got close to you know had reached three fifty, and nowadays we've got players are lining up and queuing up to get there now. Yeah, it's um, well, it, I guess it speaks volumes also about the way that players now have you know, access to you know, recovery, nutrition, all science. So. Uh, so the Tigers and the Roosters, Andrew, uh, Chris Lawrence and James Sadisco, some potential milestones here as well. Oh, both need tries to bring up records. So for, for Chris, Chris Lawrence, he needs one try to break the record of 76 career tries for the West Tigers. He currently holds that with Benji Marshall. And James Sadisco needs one more to bring up 200 career points. Canberra and Penrith, again, two teams would be willing to you know, put in a very good performance. Um, so Jared Croker, again, he just keeps scoring points, doesn't he? Yeah, look, Croker's in sparkling form right now. He scored 46 points in his last three games, and he's just 16 points shy of 1,600 for his career. 1,600, yeah, fantastic for that unsung hero from Canberra. And also uh, uh, 
we have, uh, you know, Jordan Rapana, seven tries in the last six matches against Penrith, and uh, James Talmau as well. You've got something for us? Yeah. Here? Yeah, tamo has got a solid record. He's picked up nine wins in his last 11 games against the Raiders. Excellent. And finally, uh, the Bulldogs and Manly. So Brenton Lawrence getting a milestone and a couple of others also to, to dwell on. Yeah, Brenton Lawrence will be playing his 100th um, career game this weekend. While Aquila Uate, he's just one try short of ring up 500 career points, which is 125 tries. Wow. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty phenomenal, that one. Yeah, good on him because he went through a bit of a... I guess a form slump, and and now you know back to his best there at the Seagulls. So that's great. Well, thank you, Andrew, as always for another round of stats. Amazing. We'll see you next week, everyone. Enjoy the round.